guys. We are finally here with the painted feather video. I posted pictures of these onto social media. I did not very much expect the response that I got. I was very pleased that you all love them. I did not expect to ever do a tutorial on them. <laughs> but we're going to do one. All right, so I will tell you first as we get started with the video that if you want to watch another couple of perspectives on painting feathers, the two videos that inspired me, one is by Jelly Arts and one is by Threadbanger. So I'm going to link both videos in the description below, so go check them out. You will need, for the way I did this process, something to monoprint on. I have uh, one of the small jelly plates, some feathers, these firm sort of white duck or goose feathers are the best. These are just craft store feathers um, in any size that you want, um, but you don't want anything too floppy like a peacock feather or something like that because that just won't work. It's too floppy. It won't take the paint. You can do ones, you can do black ones, and I'll show you um, what I discovered about using dark feathers that I think is interesting. You're going to need some paint, a brayer, some stencils, and some paint pens. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a couple colors to put out on our jelly plate. And I'm going to pick colors that go well together. At the moment, I am really trying to use up some old distress paint and craft store paint. So I've been picking from there. These are Adirondack paints and distress paints. And pick colors that go together. So like this is yellow, green, and blue. Um, yellow, orange, and red. Um, pink, purple, and blue. Something like that. Colors that normally would blend well together anyway. Don't go anything too crazy. You don't need much. This is a little jelly plate, so I don't need much paint. I'm going to put the yellow, then I'm going to put the green, then I'm going to put the blue. You're going to need some drawing paper. Just plain drawing paper, scrap paper. I'm going to brayer out my paint, mixing them just a little bit. Trying to get my hair out of the paint. I always seem to have a piece of hair stuck in the paint. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of my feathers, lay them front side down on the jelly plate. <clears throat> I'm going to pull a couple of these little ones. I do try to get as many feathers as I can on there. You'll see in the Jelly Arts video, they just do one or two, but I want to get as much as I can. And take a piece of drawing paper. And then push. Now, you can feel around the spine of the feather and really use your fingers to push down on that spine push down on either side of it where the hairs of the feather would be. I still don't know what those are called. Are they called hairs? I don't know. And push down really well. Give it a good rub. The bonus of this is that you also are creating mono prints while you're doing it. So here's the mono print from that. And then here's the feather, right? So then just set that aside. Because you're not using very much paint and I'm also using, here's the little one, isn't it cute? Because I'm also using craft store paint, it dries pretty quickly. See, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my feathers and I'll be right back. So as you're doing this process and you pull your feathers up before you put more paint down, 
pull a secondary print, put some more paper down, and you get these interesting prints on, from your jelly plate. Look at that. Those are going to be great to use in some mixed media pieces or some art journal pages. Just a little tip. I'll be right back. Okay, to do the dark galaxy feathers, I recommend that you start with a black base. I know the feathers are already black um, or dark, but this is the way I think works the best. So I have some black Adirondack paint, any black paint, and then I also have some black metallic. This is black flash um, color shift paint by Folk Art. Um, start with these two colors. This, what we're doing is just a base coat on all the feathers, and for the galaxy feathers we happen to be doing a dark base coat. That's probably way too much paint, but let's find out. I'm going to roll off my brayer as much as I can. If I was really concerned about it, I would clean the jelly plate, but I'm not going to. Okay. Then put your dark feathers, fa again, face down. Put some of the little ones. Now these camel colored feathers, you can do um, any color on. The darker red ones, they're a little dark for the bright colors. Okay, we're going to again put the paper face down and press. Really get your fingers into all those nooks and crannies on the jelly plate that you can feel. You'll get an interesting secondary print. Well, an interesting monoprint, I should say. Then we're going to pull the feathers off and you can see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you can see that there's some like shimmer to that. That's the metallic paint. And then on these ones, you can see that that's darkened them up a lot. I'm going to pull a secondary print. <clears throat> Interesting print, right? So now because our jelly plate is dark because of the black paint, we're going to go ahead and work on the um, galaxy feathers. And I'm going to grab a couple more colors of metallic paint. I think I'm going to grab a red and a peacock pearl. This is another color shift paint. This is a Deco Art Dazzling Metallics paint. And I'm going to just drop it in a few places. Again, that's probably way too much paint, but that's all right. So instead of just brayering back and forth, what I'm going to kind of do is do this. So we get this like splotchy thing on the jelly plate. You don't, don't want it to be fully covered. You want it to look kind of like that. Then I'm going to put my feathers down again. another piece of hair there but it's gonna have to stay there <laughs> okay. press press firmly Now remember that you're painting on or printing on an organic object, so you're not going to get perfect prints, you're not going to get perfect coverage of paint. You want it to still look like a feather, so 
don't even try to get it perfect. So just throw that word out the window. Look at that monoprint from that. Isn't that cool? If nothing else, if you don't like the painted feathers, the monoprints you get from doing this are really cool. Okay, so now you start to see the beginnings of something that's sort of galaxy-esque, right? There's that one. So cool. Okay, now this first one I pulled has some color on it, but not a lot. There is some more color on here, so I'm going to just take the feather and I'm going to do this. And then look, then that's, then that's, there you go. I'm going to take what's left on here. We're going to pull a print. Which I did just mess up by doing that, but that's okay. I want the feathers to be good. At this point, I have a giant stack of painted paper. There we go. All right, so now before we go back to the light colored ones, we're going to clean the jelly plate because I don't necessarily want all this black and metallic paint on there. I might get the piece of hair off. <clears throat> okay. Now, we're going to go back to some of the original feathers that we did. Um, I did find that for my feathers, I really liked one of a couple stencils. I really liked just some plain old punchinella, and this, this piece is a little bit past it. If any of you all want to send me happy mail and send me a new piece that doesn't look like this, um, feel free. <laughs> I could use a new piece because this one's like falling apart. All right. So I did find I liked the Punchinella. This is also a stencil by Patty Tolly Parish. And this is, what's the name of it? Does it say? Oh, it does say. Oh, it just says eight by 10 Patty Tolly Parish exclusive stencil. So it might've been one that I got for free with placing an order. It doesn't say, if anybody knows, um, put a comment. But this one worked. I liked the little larger like diamond shapes around the outside. This one who, that I had worked okay. Um, I had little success with it, but I think it was because of the color I used. So we may try that one again today. It's also a little big for the feathers. Um, also this chicken wire one actually kind of worked. So use what you have. But the Punchinella was my favorite one. All right, so, and see, there's another piece. It's just falling apart. Um, all right, so we are going to go with the Punchinella, and I think I'm gonna go with the blue. Do I want that blue or do I want a different blue? I might want a different blue. There's more green, let's see. It's actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this one, which is another Adirondack paint. This is Clover, and I'm gonna mix it with this Distress paint, which is Broken China. Okay. Oops. Brayer. Okay, so for the first pass with the feathers, I'm going to put the punchinella down and I'm going to put some feathers on top of that. Okay, and we are going to get a piece of paper. We'll use this one. And we're gonna push. Now, we have a stencil and the feathers on top of the paint. So for this one, you really wanna make sure you push, you get everything pushed down. 
push hard on the spine and the hairs of the feather, right? So we get that, and you see the feather stuck to it, but that's okay. So you get this. That's really cool. Look at that. I love that one. And then lay them out to dry. Now the other thing is pull your stencil off. Put some more feathers down. And some more paper down. And you get that. So paint up your feathers with your uh, mono printing system, how, whatever you're using. If you have a jelly plate or a, um, a perch, uh, I should say a store bought jelly plate or a homemade jelly plate, um, use what you have and then let your feathers dry. And then when we come back, we're going to do, do some doodling on the feathers. So work on them, whether you're making galaxy feathers or the brightly colored feathers, work on that and we'll be right back. Okay, for the next step, once your feathers are dry, you're going to need some rubber stamps. I'm using one of my stamp sets from my Etsy shop, um, designed by me. You can, I'll put the, li the link for my Etsy shops in the description so you can look it up and look at, I have 11, I think, different sets of stamps. You may need some stencils, and again, I have some of my designed stencils from my Etsy shop. Um, you can find them over there. Um, I have used these on some of the feathers, so we'll see what happens. Some makeup sponges if you're going to use the stencils. Some paint, paint pens. These you need to have. Black, black ink. I'm using archival and an acrylic block. And then your dried feathers. So then it's a matter of taking your feathers and really doodling on them, creating something interesting. And I'm going to show you how to do a couple of them. I Okay, so when you do this, you may find that there are some that you just don't want to do anything to because you really like the way they look. I do have to say, I think these are some of those. I love the way they look. And I don't plan on doing anything to these. So we're going to set these aside. There's something about those colors I just love. Here's another one of those from that batch. Um, there are some of these that need some doodling. <laughs> need some, they need some help to really just really pop and be pretty. So we're going to do that. Let's start with these. And let's take one of the stamps from this stamp set. Let's take these little circles. And you'd be surprised at how easy it is to stamp on a feather. So get your stamp really well and good and inky. Um, we're going to want to stick a white piece of paper under there. Okay. And pick a spot and push hard. Well, maybe rock it just a little bit. And that takes what was a kind of a boring feather, and look look at that. I mean, look at that. Even if you do nothing else to it, look at that. All right. So then I'm going to take one of my paint pens, and I think I'm going to um, use yellow. And for the paint pens, just dap, tap it on. Don't try to actually draw on the feather. That won't work. This yellow is not showing up a lot, but now that I got started, I'll finish with it. I think I'll add some white to it. 
and I'm going inside those stamped circles. And I'm going to grab a white pen. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to grab a white pen, white paint pen again. Okay, and that takes what was a boring feather and makes it really interesting. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside. Let's work on another one, and let's take this one, and I'm going to this time... Um, I have this stamp from my set that's like little uh, plus signs. I'm in frame. Okay. Then I'm going to take, I love these Krylon 18 gold leafing pens. They have these leafing pens. So there's a gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper leaf. These are fabulous people. A great addition to your craft stash and, and affordable. I think I'm going to take the silver one. And what I usually do is try to find a spot on the feather to, to add something to to add a doodle, add a mark, in this case a mark. Right? Oops, where are we? There we are. So I'm going to do all of these feathers and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to do the galaxy feathers and I'll share what I've done. Sometimes you do the initial printing on your feathers and you just aren't happy with the uh, <clears throat> way the colors and marks came out. Then that's when I go in with the stencils and some like more paint. In this case I'm taking some Bahama Blue Deco Art Americana craft paint and my stencil called Directions from my Etsy shop. And I'm going to stencil some marks on that feather. This one came out a little bit um, muddy, shall we say? So I want to brighten it up just a bit. Yeah, that helped a lot. So that took what was kind of an ugly feather and turned it into something much more interesting. Okay, so now we're going to work on painting the craft, the galaxy feathers, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm taking some white craft paint and a brush with some small points on it. You can use just use what you have. It doesn't really. It's not about what I'm using. And add some stars, quote unquote stars, right? Take some just plain water and take some of those stars and kind of blend them out or fuzz them up a little bit. Okay, you also can just splatter it. You can make a puddle of white paint and just take your brush and just do this and splatter on it. Um, I tend to like to do a little bit of both. I'm going to just try to do it here on the white paper and just and just do that until you're happy with it and you get a galaxy feather, right? So let's do the other ones. 
And this is a um, funny specialty brush, uh, special effects brush, um, that happens to have different kind of points on it, but you don't have to have this. Just use a really tiny, small, round brush or a toothpick or something like that. Okay, so make some white marks on your feather and then go back with some water with your brush fairly drippy. And not on necessarily all of them, but on some of them, add some more water so that white paint gets a little bit runny. Right? And then take and make your puddle of white paint. And galaxy feather. Okay. <clears throat> it's best done on black feathers. These little sort of dark ambery ones will work. Um, they don't work as well, but they do work. If you really like the galaxy feathers and you want to make some, um, I would recommend if you can afford it to go out and just buy some black feathers. Otherwise, spend some time and whatever feathers you're using, um, maybe jelly print on them a couple times, letting the layers dry in between uh, to really get them dark and black. Uh, maybe even um, painting on both sides of the feather so you get something that's really dark and black. Okay, and we're gonna get some watery paint here. And... Right, so galaxy feathers. So I'm gonna dry everything and I am going to clean up my table and I'll be back to share with you all the feathers that I have and what they look like. All right, so there we go, painted feathers. Honestly, those are all the steps I used. I used just a craft paint, my jelly plate, some stamps and stencils, some paint pens, and some drawing paper. Nothing special. All things I already had in stock except the feathers. The feathers are inexpensive ones from the craft store. So go out and paint your own colorful feathers. Use them in your mixed media or your artwork. They'd be great attached to a journal cover, maybe hanging from a dream catcher. There, there's just so many different things. I could see them actually smaller ones made into earrings. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description for links to my Etsy shop, my Happy Mail address, uh, a whole, you know, there's a link down there to um, a page where you can get all of my social media and website links to all my stores and places that you can find me. So check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.